guys for tuning in. I have another educational video and today we'll be talking about bicolor glass and we're going to go over just a couple of different types of bicolor glass. Um, their origins are German um, and then we're going to talk about how these terms are used today. Things have kind of changed. Of course, these, gla these glass beads we're going to look at are not made anymore. But like with many well-known glass makers, other countries started to um, imitate and kind of make their own beads uh, in their own style. So I'll show a couple of those as well. But first, I would like to talk about givre. It's a French term. It's, I guess, more appropriately pronounced givre, and it means frosted. And I'm not quite sure how they got the term because this is German glass. I don't know if maybe, you know, buyers in France were like, oh, these look frosted, and so they gave them that term. I don't know. I couldn't find why these were called that way or why they were uh, called givre. So I want to give the prime example. And I have some loose beads here. Now, a lot of these glass beads we're looking at were also rhinestones, so or cabochons that you could set and use. Um, so, technically, give ray is a transparent, clear glass. It has to be clear, transparent, and then one opaque or milky color within. And it's kind of wrapped around the center. Almost looks like a flower. Now this is the best example. And as we go along, I'll show other pictures because I don't have the best examples for some things. In my own collection. So there's that and I have a couple of other beads that are great examples. I have this, it's not marked West German, but looking at the beads, I'm pretty sure this is a German necklace. And the Givre beads are actually on the extender. They look just like the peachy ones I showed you, but there's purple, an opaque purple color suspended in the clear, transparent glass. And I just love them. They're so beautiful. And we'll go over a couple of other beads from this in a minute. I have another good example. This is just a mix of all different kind of beads. And I want to show these spacer beads. This is a great one for Give Ray. It's a clear, transparent, and you can see the pink, milky color through there. And here's another one. I also have this it's possible at Swarovski because they actually made these faceted crystals with um, the opaque color. And I only got that one bead on here. I love it. It's probably my favorite. Just a bunch of crystal, lamp work, cloisonne beads. And actually one Venetian bead right there, or Murano. Givre has kind of changed in how people use that term. 
a lot of people now use it to describe just a bicolored glass. So a glass rhinestone or bead with two distinct colors, just two. But technically it's actually supposed to be a clear transparent um, like these with an opaque or kind of milky color uh, running through. It's another type of bicolor glass and you do not see these terms used very much but it's cuba glass and it's also German glass. It's also called Creole, K-R-E-O-L. Sometimes it's spelled with a C and I really couldn't find much using that term, uh, looking that up. But Cuba glass, I do know, I guess is more well known. But if you try looking this up, like now, if you want to buy a piece like this, most people are going to use the term bicolor. And I've actually seen people use the term give ray. They're now used more interchangeable. But, you know, if you're, you know, searching for a piece, you, you could use those terms to, to find it. So I have a perfect example for Cuba glass or Creole or bicolor and I had to open the back so that you could see the light coming through and these glass rhinestones in the middle you can see are two distinct colors and they're both transparent and I love these on the back they're actually faceted and they're smooth so there is a perfect example for that. And another glass or give ray. Um, and again, most people present it that way as give ray or bicolor is Sabrina glass. And again, I couldn't find where the term was coined or how, but it's very similar to give ray. Instead of the transparent clear glass, you get this opalescent color. Opalescent, but it's more transparent. And then you have a transparent color dispersed. If you're wondering, these are bow jewels, and sadly there is some damage to the foiling in the back. That's why you can't see the colors that well. But this is my own only personal example for the Sabrina glass. Now the next type of glass is um, you very much see this term pertaining to a particular style of German jewelry and it is uh, the brass filigree. They made brooches, pendants, necklaces, and they would use what's called porphyry glass cabochons in the middle. And I'll show some pictures of those. But basically what it is, it's a bicolor. There's two different colors and the base color could be, I mean, any color. And it can be transparent. I've seen it more of a milky finish to it, but it has these striations through the glass. Um, so a bunch of small, delicate lines running through. Um, they almost look banded like I've seen actual banded agate. Um, look very similar. And it could be that it was uh, made to look like agates. I'm not sure. I do actually have 
similar in style and I believe these are actually Japanese beads. Japanese were also great glass makers and they copied a lot of what they saw but they had their own wonderful quality. So these are actually beads. Um, I think they're all Japanese. One or two could be German. But you can see here we've got a light and a dark blue and there are very fine lines running through. Very pretty. So we've got these fine banded lines running through. Here's another one, little tube bead. So there we have it, porphyry glass. I have a few examples of sort of bicolor stones that don't really fit with one, you know, like one category. So to go back to this West German necklace, of course we have these beautiful AB crystals, then we have these pink lined seed beads, and then these twist beads are so lovely, here we go, you can really see it here. You've got like a clear, transparent, and just a faint coloring of blue and is actually frosted. The, the outside has been treated and just so lovely. But I would, I would consider this givre. I'll just show the rest of this. There's also, this is moon glow. That's plastic, and then we got these faux pearls, probably glass or plastic, but I love this necklace. I really wanted to wear it, but it is way too short. And then this necklace, I believe is Czech, and it could be German. Um, we have these satin bugle beads, and then these very unusual. I have not come across beads like this. It does have some transparency to it, some transparent clear with like an opaque light blue, and then it has the satin coloring throughout, so really it's three, three colors, so But Givray now is almost used more uh, as like a multicolor. I would stick with bicolor, two colors. So I wouldn't use it for this. Um, I would use, you know, art glass, satin. I don't know, these kind of remind me of pebbles or rocks. Just really unusual. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this educational video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a lot. And of course I plan on bringing more of these videos out. I really enjoy doing the research and digging in and gaining the knowledge and sharing it with you guys um, is really no benefit to me to gain all this knowledge and to just keep it in my head. <laughs> I always believe that sharing knowledge is, you know, a really wonderful thing to do and I don't want to be selfish with it and of course if I have any mistakes, uh, please ask that you kindly make any, you know, constructive criticism. And I will also link, I try to add as much references, books, websites that I find this info from so that you guys can 
dig in and um, do your own research and maybe learn something else new. So I really appreciate you guys for being here. Please like this video and please subscribe if you have not. And you can click on the bell notification icon that will notify you whenever I upload a new video. So thank you guys and I will see you later.